as we get started, the last time we left our heroes, a certain someone awoke from their slumber. One uh, albino awoke from his so long slumber due to the attack. Looney the Scourge uh, wrought on his circus. Um, during the attack, however, the players find out that during the bloodbath, a certain snake smelled the blood and, let's say, decided to pay them a wreaked havoc on many, many rats, innocent woodland creatures consuming them. And Clooney, during the entire, let's just say, storm that happened during this situation, got injured by um, an archer of unknown origins. He came to Redwall Abbey in order to, in order to tend to his wounds, which miraculously they let him in due to the orders handed down by Abbot Mortimer, who that night was celebrating his jubilee. Needless to say, some of our players were not too happy to see Clooney the Scourge. He is the boogeyman of many residents of Mossflower Wood. And he causes many children to cry simply by looking at him. Not that he's ugly, he's just terrifying. <laughs> he got well, that face. I was going to say, he's ugly now with Maybe the missing both. eye. Yeah, well, he covers it up with... Oh, well, that's kind of hot. Um, he's got an eye patch. Now he's a real pirate. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> kind of hits, doesn't it? Well, mm. anywho, um, uh, as you all learn uh, during this whole night of stressful situations you um find out that he lost his eye in the battle against asmodeus poison who um managed to take away one of Clooney's eyes but Clooney came away with a prize as well one of asmodeus's teeth which the snake has never really taken any damage but this is Clooney the scourge he's no ordinary rodent and echoing in someone. That's Rosie. <laughs> hey, Sorry. Rosie, I'm not sure That's how, but do. your bunny echo. Why? <laughs> anyway, um... Bunny echo? <laughs> bunny echo. Bunny use echo location. Those are bats. Anyway, um, <laughs> as the nights go on, as the night goes on, you all participate in the festivals, the uh, feast, the uh, merriment, eating, partying, drinking, you hear a commotion outside, and uh, one of the rats decided to defy and wanted to make a meal out of a dibbon, a little hedgehog child. Um, and Clooney caught the rat and broke his neck oh. and fed his corpse to his allies. His friend. Let's just say it was messy. <laughs> um, not to be deterred from good opportunity to make friends. Polis, being the kind creature she is, gave eat the Clooney the Scourge a piece of cake. I thought you were going to say a piece of some finger. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. <laughs> Hands oh, him a dead she, man's finger. He Bingo. straight up gave Clooney the Scourge cake. Yeah. Uh, Dark, Dark Claw, <laughs> Dark Claw, Clooney's hand, right hand man, clearly took an issue with that, but Clooney quickly defused the situation. And accepted the piece of cake, which Pallas was very pleased with, I'm guessing. Um, the night, the rest of the night went off without a hitch, except for the individual waking up. You forgot yeah, about I the know. leftover birthday cake to the kids. That was awful. Oh, no, I'm getting to that. <laughs> they don't get none. Yeah, I'm getting to that. So our albino ferret friend, um, he, by the name of Balion Swifttail, Woke up, and the first thing he does is punch a batter in the nose. Poor Constance. Um, uh, which was understandable in the situation. He dropped unconscious in the middle of the battle, and he thought he was still in a fight. The fact that a little mouse saved his life is kind of a little hilarious. And he made his way down to the feast and everything. Feast went off. It was fun time, to say the least. And... Last we left our heroes, everybody was about to hit the hay. Uh, Balian decided to feed leftover cake to the Dibbons, who proceeded to go 
absolutely bonkers from the sugar rush, and he proceeded to leave without Constance knowing, and now Constance has to deal with that. Before we left our heroes at the end of the night, you all heard a voice in your heads. Some of you dismissed it. Some of you heard it and back to sleep, and some of you couldn't tell what it was about. That's where we resume our story. Hey, you As... the birds have voices. Yeah. As, um, as morning breaks, the sun reaches the open doors of Redwall Abbey, uh, which stirs many of the residents awake through the windows, through all the openings of the abbey. Notice that the clouds have broke. There's little to no rain in the sky, but there is some still trickling down. Just a slight tad bit. As you all awake from your slumber, uh, you realize that you all kind of slept in, and you first thing that greets your nose, biscuits, meadow cream, butter. You smell all sorts of you no know, pastries, hazelnut pastries, blueberry pastries. There's giant pancakes. Stacked collar, including the scourge, currently on one plate. A spread of just delicious breakfast foods. People going to town. Hey, yo, that voice in my head. Ah, that was just my stomach. Tell me I'm hungry. Oh, I'm waking up. That's for sure. I'm going downstairs. Uh-huh. The voice told me that I'm hungry, which means I'm gonna eat. Mm. Um. Oh. oh, yeah, by the way, remember... Uh, <laughs> The Finnick Fox actually has good hearing and even superior hearing. Just letting you know. Oh, I can hear the Dungeon Master. <laughs> <laughs> Your hearing is not that good. Damn. <laughs> actually, All the right. Finnick Fox can stop and hear within a certain amount of feet away from him. He can detect Yeah, but he can't hear me. Hey, yo, narrator. <laughs> I oh, hear you. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> he can't hear the narrator. Tearing's not Darn. that good. I'm sorry, but he can't <laughs> jump dimensions. His hearing's not that damn good. I'm sorry, but th- I'm putting my foot down on that. Who don't st- God, Hello, please don't stop like, on me. I know, no, reader. Yes. Well, I'm grabbing some pancakes, some strawberries, and some Actually, some ironically, uh, there, uh, th- yeah, there's strawberries <laughs> everywhere. Um, there's even, like, three, there are four different plates, all with different kinds of pancakes. There's one entirely made out of, like, typical flower stuff. There's one that has strawberries inside of it. There's one that has blueberries. And there's one entirely made of carrot. Oh. Well, we all know which one I'm going to. The carrots? (laughs) Strawberry. I go for blueberry. I knew that. I'm taking leftovers. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> as you all settle down to um to uh eat um apollos you notice that a very excited two dibbons look up see you one's a hedgehog one's a mouth and th- they both like pat the bench right beside him like who's a good boy who's a good boy who's a good boy um uh, you see that, um, Geo, you see that, um, a Basil stag here invites you to sit right next to him. Um, Just hope you seat. get an invitation of, uh, from none other than the, uh, none other than Abbot Mortimer, who's sitting amongst the ranks. Um, Vince and Sunflower, you, uh, see that, um, uh, Brother Methuselah actually invites you over. You sit with him. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. The last one to get up is um, Balion, who comes in very groggily um, after a rough night sleeping. Oh, oh, oh. I'm surprised since he stood out in the rain meditating. Um, where he <laughs> is promptly... I'm sorry, could you repeat? Sleeping and meditation aren't the same thing. Mm, true. Where he, um, okay, um, where he is promptly, um, forced into a seat right next to Constance, because that is the only seat left. Let's just say he's sweating bullets currently, because Constance 
Looks like she's had better days. I was her going to say, cat perception on cat Everywhere. <laughs> yeah, please do. Okay. Perception. <laughs> uh, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> her fur is everywhere. There, are, there are evidence of where the kids, uh, like poured a, like what looks to be watercolors on her. You um, don't see a thing. <laughs> ah, um, her, I have carrots in my eyeballs. Her fur is a mess. <laughs> and let's, and you see sunflower. You just see her eating in silence, but her right paw index finger is constantly tapping the wood and it's been tapping so much there's a little indentation from where her claw has been hitting the wood so much oh, the funny thing is she doesn't my character doesn't know about the birthday cake or that to like that <laughs> yeah, she just looks like she has had a rough night I that can estimate all. that she dealt with kids but other than that she has no idea <laughs> right oh boy um um as you um all are eating um vince is just busy eating and talking with brother M M without that uh, not brother abbott, <laughs> abbott methuselah you mean brother methuselah <laughs> brother methuselah whatever. still learning names it's abbott mortimer that you're thinking <laughs> whatever i'm gonna say i talked to brother methuselah uh, he is describing his work as the Abbey historian. He knows a lot about Redwall Abbey. Um, he keeps the ledgers. He keeps the legends. And he's just, as you were eating, he drones on about, like, the history of Redwall, how it was founded, like, why it was built in the specific location, stuff like that. My character actually is actually interesting. We just love. Oh, well. There she is. Hey, look. Hi. They woke back up. The carrots fell out of their eyes. They can see again. <laughs> Don't worry. I passed out for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So how is it to see again? <laughs> What's the world to you now? It's great. It's great. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay. If, if I had carrots in my eyes, what would Vince have in his eyes? What? <laughs> 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 Uh, okay, so Blue basically, bears. I did the perception check, and I was like, oh, I have carrots in my eyes, then. <laughs> oh, no, this is what I'm saying. I'm busy talking to, to uh, Brother Moore. Bro, nah, ah, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Methuselah. Brother Methuselah. Talking to man. Talk to the old oh, man. Oh, yeah, whoops. Actually, you're not really Ooh. talking to him. You're more listening to the lore of Redwall as he's describing on how, like, uh, there was a mighty mouse warrior a long, long, long time ago. Um, yes, Martin the warrior. Uh, he was a mouse, not always a warrior. He started out as a prisoner. A long place from here. Eventually, he escaped and founded Redwall Abbey. Put down his sword, became a mouse of peas. No one has found his sword in many years. Or Just Damien whips it out real quick. This? Oh no! <laughs> How'd you get that in here? <laughs> Whoops! Uh, you can't whip out anything because there's no weapons I, on you. Exactly. That, that was the funny part. <laughs> Uh, you you actually um, instead of like whipping out a a, a a sword, you manage to whip out a large carrot that proceeds to poke the eye of your neighbor sitting right next to. You. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> oh my bad. Large carrots. <sighs> you know how it be. Oi. Eat this now. <laughs> oh, whoops. Oi. Yeah. What are you been eating with those carrots in the things? Be careful with these, these things. You want to bite? No, he's saying what put down the credit. Think? Okay. Uh, you can tell that your neighbor is a mole, and mole speech is very difficult for any woodland creature to understand. Oh, I thought I was losing my hearing. No. Oh, ew. <laughs> you be careful with these things. Would would be poking things' eyes. My apologies, sir. I would rather poke something else other than your eye. My apologies. I'll put down the carrot, <laughs> chop it up. Anyone want some carrots? I poke this poor man's eye. You can be apologies with these things here. Points at your drink. Ah, yes. 
Yum, yum. You want some? I'll pay you back. He snatches it out of your hand, tankered and all, and just consumes the entire thing. Uh, some flowers kind of trying not to laugh during this entire time. <laughs> well, she can understand hey, this. Was, mister, I was kind of hungry. Does he eat the cup? <laughs> I, I want to eat the cup. I was hungry. <laughs> Cr- crunchity munchity. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, as he, per- uh, as he proceeds to give you some, uh, like, a, a glare of sorts, as he well can, with his paw over his eye, oh. and his left eye being exposed, and he just glares at you a little bit. <laughs> as you hear liquid rushing um, into your tankard. I made him wet. No, somebody just <laughs> refilled your cup. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> My apologies. I thought carrots are supposed to be good for eyesight. <laughs> Not like that. No, it didn't help him. He got mad and it's ate like my that cup. AS, it's like that AS, a, AS. ASVF movie. Oh, you know Carrots are good for your eyes. Withered, send that to me. I kid you <laughs> not. Withered, yeah, send dude. that to me. <laughs> oh, my apologies. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> as, box down. As, um, as your drink is refilled, you notice that there is a um there is a female hedgehog who refilled your tankard, gives you a gentle smile, and then moves on. Hey, starts mommy. refilling. That's just smart. Do you say that in character? <laughs> no, <laughs> that was not my character. That was sorry, just too me. late. Sorry, too late. Oh, sorry, too late. No. Oh, charisma check. You, you gotta watch your mouth. <laughs> you have to watch your mouth around me. Give me a charisma check. <laughs> oh, that one and charisma. I'll send you, I'll send, me. I'll send you the picture um, I sent you that made him say that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, your character. Um, by the way, uh, may I remind you, Gio? What? Um, at, the bo- uh, at the At the bottom. I think it could be the one. I will delete yes. that picture. Thank you very much. You want me to scream? You can no. scream. Did you ask for charisma? No. Uh, uh, yeah, I said charisma, not persuasion. Whoops. That's even and worse. I would also, I would also <laughs> like, I would also like for you to switch from your gamer tag to your actual character. Uh, at the bottom of the screen, it should say as you. Oh. You can drop down the button box. And you can switch to your actual character name next time you pull. Oh, wait. Oh, it's fine, though. I'll take it as is. My apologies. So, I didn't realize that. As you, you um, have your drink refilled, uh, a part of your brain where it basically uh, tells your mouth to shut it doesn't activate. Whoops. And you're like, hey, mommy. <laughs> right at the hey, mommy. <laughs> and as that happens, yeah. please let me, let, please let my character get slapped. This was a bad decision from the start. As that safe. happens, I already made a, um, a unhanded strike against you. Oh, finally. <laughs> so take six points of damage. As she outright punches you in the nose. Damn, that is one powerful woman. I'm now more attracted. <laughs> sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm in a mood today. I'm in a mood all today. Because I, all because I sent you a picture of a bee with hongalongos. Hey, hey, hey. Brother. <laughs> Let's try and keep the pictures down to a minimum during game. <laughs> yeah, Good idea. Please, oh, I'm begging you. <laughs> At this point, if... Sunflower sees this. She is laughing so hard she's putting her head underneath the table trying to hold her mouth shut. Uh, can I get a performance check from you then? Okay, I'm good. You are managing barely to hold on to your laughter to make you not go out loud. You are having to yourself you're holding your mouth with the other paw you are trembling something fierce from this situation that just happened as you see vince looking at the situation laughing his ass off can i do the same thing as damien's dying yes yes go ahead make a performance check see if you're no you do not that's it's perception you saw me get punched 
Uh, try yeah, performance. You, oh, that's professional. Oh, yeah, it's perception. Oh, yeah. Good job. You saw me. <laughs> Everyone start with peace. Performance. Yeah. I'm pretty sure everyone saw nope, me. Nope. Yeah, still, still not. Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you are in the wheezing. Don't no worry. In, you are in the middle of eating a carrot pancake, and you just spit the entirety out of your mouth <laughs> and start. You collapse out of your chair. You start guffawing on the floor, holding your sides, while the poor individual across from you has to wipe <laughs> off all the carrot pancake oh, from no. their fur. Oh, no. <laughs> Damien's terrible to controlling himself. Jeez. Except you are very fortunate because it happens oh, for this particular. Oh, no, it wasn't Rose. Sorry. Oh. Um, uh, but you are very fortunate because I actually developed something that I am very pleased about. It is a different kind of table. It is not one, one for D hundreds, but it is seating arrangements for each day in Redwall Abbey. And I just roll and see what the seating arrangements usually are, which makes things so interesting, honestly. And it just so happens across from Hope, it's a dibbon. Oh no. And he couldn't be happier. Oh no. <laughs> that he is now a mess because he recently got a bath and he couldn't be happier that he's a mess again. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes I'm going to get the crap beat out of me by Constance. <laughs> Trust me, she is way too busy at the fact that she had a rough night. I think she's preoccupied at this point, so she really doesn't notice. Let me double check. Let me roll That's for good. her. Oh, well, uh -oh. my character is blatantly laughing out loud. Oh, yeah, for I'm sure. Yeah, she does not notice at all. Oh, thank God. That's good. Okay. <laughs> too busy staring down someone. <laughs> yeah, she does not know. She is really too busy wallowing in her own hatred, trying to figure out who <laughs> did it. <laughs> Here, she will never know. <laughs> <laughs> the person happens to be sitting right next to her, but she does now. What? <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> yeah, poor, poor sunflower is finishing to hold in her laughter. Hope did not do that whatsoever. She is laughing her butt off. Vince is laughing. Um, so, um, after you get punched in the schnoz. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is Snooter! I was about to say something else. has been mega <laughs> what, what's, what's going through your head, Mr. Damien? Damn, what the hell is wrong with me? Why do I, why do I say certain things I do? <clears throat> Just, I'm gonna get up, act like nothing happened, eat my food. I made a damn fool of myself. Nothing happened. So how was y'all morning? Mine's fantastic so far. You're saying that as you holding your nose? <laughs> as, as, words, you're, tad snoot as you're trying as you're trying to stop the bleeding uh you're like so how's everyone how's everyone's morning oh yeah wait wait, wait hold on wait so uh how are you doing <laughs> so my character does the spit take you know what i mean where i'm like yeah. <laughs> and i'm just laughing at my you. character's still wheezing <laughs> <clears throat> as oh, you guys are just having <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just having a blast <laughs> this morning. A uh, Balian is the only one who has not cracked a smile at all. Completely. Oh, I waddle up to him with a strawberry. He accepts it very graciously, and he, um, as return, he uh starts. Let's go he starts. Uh, uh, let me do a perfect. Well, he has to eat breakfast first. It's daybreak. You're supposed to do it before breakfast. Bro, listen, I should be eating breakfast. I'm too busy getting punched in the I nose. I know, I made a check. Too bad that he didn't make it. Oh. Yeah, I checked. I basically had to make a check for him. Since he's not here yet, viewers, I had to make a check for him to see what time he gets up to see if he can manage to do the job he promised to. If not, he slept in late. Next, I had to make a, another check to make sure that he would remember his job. That's not. Uh -oh. For now, at least. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, as he, he doesn't crack a small, you see, uh, like, you see him take the strawberry. 
Give you a little performance check. Uh, uh, then, hey, you do it for him. Yeah, yeah. And then he starts juggling in front of you, trying to make you laugh. I just started blinking at him a second smile. Oh, he's smiling. Check. Okay, smile back. Okay, 14. How do you respond? What? How do you respond to him <laughs> juggling? Perfect reaction. I smile and then me. I just hop back to the kitty table. Okay. Struggling. As he does this, I'm going to make another check for him. See if he remembers what he's supposed to do. Bulbasaur? What? 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 Epic Bulbasaur. Uh, probably <laughs> epic <laughs> fail. That was probably <laughs> it. Bulbasaur. Baba. Oh my gosh. Why is there a Pokemon okay, that's here? A, that's Give me eat him. I don't know. Okay, anyway. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I think this would be an intelligent. Yeah, yeah, I made an intelligence. Day. Okay. A lot better than what he was doing. All of a sudden, he stops. You see him stop juggling, realize his mistake, and sprint out the door. <laughs> oh, goodbye. After my character finishes eating, I'm going to go check out what the heck he's doing. Uh, oh. You, uh, you, okay, so. Uh, I'll probably my... help start cleaning up the place. Okay. Do I know how many friends... Um, Listen, I need to go wash my bloody nose. Do I know how many friends Clooney the Scourge has? Oh, you no. have no idea. I got a feeling that none of them are his friends. Well, she did... I was thinking the we same thing. did perform to him last time, so she might have a rough estimate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Okay, as far as you're aware, can I get... Uh, kind of check would that be Let me double okay. check mind performance um intelligence oh yeah no that brain makes fart sense. does isn't that the that's, same thing that's as not a, a role for specific, for a specific number i think in all manners i think investigation would be your best bet give me an investigation check since you were performing for quite a bit i'll give you advantage that's uh, under the skills yeah my, my character sheet's not looking up I don't know how to Your respond to that. Temporary help. help. You can roll it if you wish. Until it opens. Ah! Oof. God bless her. Oh. Okay, what? What the? A big sneeze. Oh. I don't know if I should be thankful that I heard just half of it or scared. Brother, it's a dinosaur. <laughs> what, you never heard a bunny growl before? Uh, I've, I've never heard a bunny growl. I have. It's actually quite intimidating to me. Uh, there's this thing uh, where I live called the Tennessee Barking Spider. Kill it. Kill the fire. Oh, no, it literally sounds like this. Oh. That's what we call a fart here in Tennessee. I see barking. Oh. Okay, so Opalis looks like you managed a 14 in your investigation. Mm. To help you out until your uh, actual... Why did Hope become correct? Hope so just became your cool. rough estimate in this uh, situation, you don't know how many people of his might be outside, but for now, all you know is that there is. Let me count the actual oh, number okay, because. Oh, what else? Huh? <laughs> there are. There are, in <laughs> fact, besides Clooney, there are eleven rats, as far as you're aware, with him. I pile up a bunch of biscuits and berries and take them outside for them. Okay. Well, um, let's switch. Um, you get uh, Vince since he was the first to pipe up. Uh, Vince, you said you were going to follow Balian after yeah. breakfast? Yeah. Okay. See um, what the heck he was up to. <laughs> you managed to follow him over to here. In the pond. You see him getting into a boat to go fishing. Hey, well, hang on. I'll come with you. No response. He doesn't care to answer you. He gives you a gentle smile and a nod and waits for you to get in the boat. All right. Don't right. forget I cannot move my token. <laughs> If you give me control of his token, I can move it. Yeah. Bless, you. bless you. Bless you. Vince books it. He jumped that entire pond. He went around. Yeah. God bless, bless you. you. Okay, he jumped a good corner of it. Walt I parked it up that rock, let me tell you. Nah, I'm joking. Where were we before <laughs> my allergy decided to take over? I was about to go fishing. Me just... Me just piling up biscuits and berries. Me just plate. cleaning up the and kitchen. And then wondering how the heck, wondering how the heck I have to get them from point A to point B. Uh, you see that the Dibbons have grabbed a few plates and are, your two new friends have grabbed a few plates and are currently helping you. My heart. 
if I see this going on, I'm going to look at Hope and say, Watch her. Yes, ma'am. Okay, stay close to me, okay? We don't want any accidents to happen today. They both look at each other with the plates. Yes, sister! They say in unison. <laughs> I think I'm having a stroke. <laughs> It walks. I think I'm having a stroke. <laughs> it's okay, just... Vince. No, am I, the, am I the one next to her? What's happening here? Vince. <laughs> I'm going to need a survival check alongside um, Mr. Balian. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, fuck. God bless you. Oh, you oh. enjoyed this sneeze a little too much. <sighs> Listen, I don't need to spit my pizza up like I did at the uh, my pancake at the kids, so... <laughs> y'all, can y'all hear the dungeon master? It's raining. Ugh. Not natural yep. rain. It's raining snot. Hallelujah. Ew. <laughs> That's it. Uh... Look, it's raining again. God bless you, by the way. <laughs> oh, it's, it's hailing! Oh, he the angry God the yells. <laughs> Did y'all not hear God? He yells. He angry. You're gonna get struck by lightning. <laughs> Strike me down, <laughs> Zeus. Like I said, watch what you said. He will do it. I know, I know and I'm mortified. I gave him ideas. No. I'm contactable. I couldn't do Carl Weasley for a second. I couldn't do Carl <laughs> because I'd be across God the God bless throat. you. I'm contactable. <laughs> He's something like lightning. Strike me down, Zeus. Alright, bloody, how many lightning strikes will that be? <laughs> Strike me down, Zeus. You don't have the balls. I mean, it would only take the me. one. <laughs> Damn, man, I'm too small. <laughs> no, it's because we're still level one. You only have how much HP? <laughs> Yeah. Listen, I got knocked out with six points taken off. I could die at any moment. I'm glad that y'all didn't acknowledge that. I have more health points than you. Wow. Listen, oh, see. Oh, I think I just had a stroke. I meant to say, I don't know how much health points I got. Uh, oh, you're listen. playing a barbarian, right? It's a D12. So you get 12 plus your constitution modifier. Mm. So you should have the most HP out of all of us. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Protect me, Hope. <laughs> Says God bless you. Oh, 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 oh. Let, him, let him suffer his face. <laughs> I will protect suffer, but protect him. <laughs> you sound like my Windows computer shutting off. Protect me, Hope. <laughs> I said Hope. No. Bless me. <laughs> I said Hope. I didn't so hear you that. Get sent by the barbarian. <laughs> you it's like right, but I'm a barbarian, but then at the same time, oh, what am I again? <laughs> <laughs> I believe you're playing a barbarian, right? Yeah, I forgot what else. Uh, <laughs> pardon me. You get angry, and also you could probably punch the shit out of uh, our friend here. <laughs> Stop threatening me! I would love small. to know how Hope turns angry because during the whole time she's. Has it shown much emotion? Yeah, she's just chill. It's my character. Cool. Oh, no, it's my character. Except for it's our, it's it's my All right, let's get on with the story, shall we? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have... <sighs> the fuck left. She'd be back. She probably disconnected. Does Mister Angie? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, a panic clicked after I did. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, right. bloody go. <sighs> oh, Vince, with your rival check, you don't catch anything. It happens. The Valiant does. Uh, after about 10 minutes of nothing, uh, you feel a little ripple on the side. Of yeah, oat. It's barely noticeable. But then it gets bigger, bigger, and bigger. And 
as Alien uh, pulls up his catch, realize that you have disturbed. Oh, so, congratulations on hitting the first combat of our campaign. Because now you two are going to have to combat a oh man, beast. Oh, not You're just any out. fish. I, I a, didn't hear that. Can you hear me now? Yeah. I thought we can't hear the dungeon master. Okay, so no, don't. Um, as we um as we uh go into this first combat of the campaign, you are battling not against a normal fish. But a pike. So How long fish? Okay. Um, I have to look yeah. up what a pike is again. Hold on. I don't yeah, know. a pike. Big fish. I, I mean, Very I know it's a big, big fish, but is it a long fish? Yeah, oh, it is a long it fish. It can be big. It can be big anyway. At least in the show, they're depicted as huge. Dude. Yeah, they're, they're typically depicted as other fish eaters. Long fish. I like this fish. Yes. I remember Very, seeing those fish in sushi uh, shops. They put them in glass tanks. Those things are fucking terrifying. I want a sushi. Uh, oh, excuse you. That time it wasn't me. <laughs> all I gotta say is, all right, we need to get the boat to shore and we need to drag this. Awful, you was the one who burped. <laughs> Encounters massive fish, burps. <laughs> we should go back to shore. Oh. Yeah, well, I'm saying we should go back to shore because... If we bring the fish to shore, we could probably pull it up and it'll be easier to fight. <laughs> Roll for initiative. Unfortunately, right now, you're <laughs> currently in combat, so... <laughs> hey, brother, we can't roll back. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to need you to... Um, roll initiative. All right. Give me a second. Got to click on my token. Um, oh, Bally, it's not doing too good. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. He's about to die to a fish. We will survive. Don't worry. Oh. He's not about to die to a fish. <laughs> He's gonna win. Why did I do some sort of Chad laugh? Ho oh, ho! Ah, oh. uh, drag water. Oh, correct, brother. He, <laughs> All right. he fish slaps this fish. All the new players that don't know how to do combat, please pay attention. When you do initiative, you tick click on your token and you hit the initiative button on your sheet. Yes. The but initiative now, is right in the middle between your armor class and speed. Okay. Oh. Not me looking for my token. But uh, we're not in the fighting sequence since it's only two people. But I want you to keep uh, this yeah. in mind. Yes. Oh. Um. Okay, wait, just real quick, just something I actually understand. You click the weapon you want, and then you click initiative? No, no. You click no. your token, and then you hit initiative. You click your character's picture on the battle map. Oh. And then you click your initiative. Oh, that's cool. Yes. Your initiative won't be the same every time, but... Yeah. yeah. It all depends on how good you actually roll, unfortunately. With that 23, I'm going first, more than likely. Yeah. Uh, give me a second. I just have a scenario in my head where he's just so startled, he drops the fishing rod onto its head. <laughs> he just kind of chucks it at him. Be big on beast. And then me just being like, fish, jump. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> yeah, if you want to die. Yeah. Unfortunately, I did not have this bit planned. I had to roll for random fish. I was not expecting a pike. Especially in a pond. <laughs> yeah, I I was not expecting to roll for pike, so I did not have a pike repaired. So in the meantime, if you want to roll play, now's the time. Fight it, fight it like a whale, please. Well, the oh. other people who are not at the pond are probably doing what things. That's why it's me. Yes. The two Dibbins and I, while staying close to each other, go out to meet the rat. Hi, guys!
guys. I brought you guys some food. Okay. Uh, as you head side, rats are already gone. Aww. Wait, is it Scourge still inside? Eating? Nope. He's gone. Excuse me, how did he escape? <laughs> How do, wait. <laughs> I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna. I'm gonna roll a one on English. <laughs> Who did you? <laughs> I had a mission today, and I failed. I yes. had to make a check for Clooney and his men. To see what time they would actually leave Redwall Abbey. And unfortunately for me, I rolled a natural one for Clooney the Scourge, which means he ordered his men basically to pick up camp before daybreak. So he had breakfast and left. Well, it was random. (laughs) Not on purpose. It was random. I hate you. Why (laughs) hate me? That is not my fault. It is God. the whole idea. Why, God, why are you doing this? <laughs> Guys, do you want to tell Bloody Paladin what my mission today was? No. <laughs> Sorry. She was trying to befriend Clooney. <laughs> my mission today was to make him smile. That Guess too. what? <laughs> he smiled as he left. So you did your <laughs> job, you just didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> If you're trying to tell her that, roll for perform um persuasion. Excellent. Persuasion or, done. No deception because you don't know, right? Uh, how about you don't tell anyone what to roll except for fucking me? Dang, sorry. <laughs> Listen here, God, I don't believe in you. I roll as I roll into the grave. Yeah, you roll without my permission. I'll kill off your character for shits and giggles. Strike me, Zeus! <laughs> He's asking for it. God. You know I'm it's still say, stormy now, right? A surprise? Yay, oh, no, that's it's so light, cool. no, no, no. It's lightly raining. It's yeah, not you. stormy. It's lightly raining. You can still it's have a like, light. She was not going to be the first person to die. I have a feeling that's actually No, it's like one of those rains strong. where you can clearly see the uh, sun out. <laughs> From the clouds. Oh, it's called drizzle. Yeah. Oh, there's yeah. deception. Why couldn't I? And find by it? the way, um, Opalis, can I get a perception check? Please. Okay, give me a second. Is this I did my... calculate for this situation just in case. Perception. That is. Is there any way I could try and sneak a carrot off of one of the tables in the uh, kitchen <laughs> without anyone knowing? Did I do it? Yes, actually, you did it twice. I'll take the pr- first one, actually. Well, I, I didn't uh, click twice. I only clicked. The phone it, does it, it that. Happens. It, it happens. It happens. It happens. Especially on the phone. It happens. Yeah, it's because it. it's like, oh, you you double click when you actually don't tap it once. It's a weird yeah. thing. It, it's stupid. <laughs> it happens to me all the time, too. So, so your perception. Like yeah. Uh, so your perception allows you to basically see... Something is a wedged in the uh, doorways of the gate to Redwall Abbey. Looks to be a piece of parchment. Yum. <laughs> I what? I tell the children to stay there for safety as I put the plate down and go to take the piece of paper. And read it. Can I read? No. Uh, yes, it is in the common tongue. It reads... <clears throat> uh, it looks to... Uh, the title of it... Is Terms of Surrender. Oh. It sign, uh, l- lists all the things that Redwall Abbey must do before three days are over. And it is signed by Clooney the Scourge. And it says, P.S. Thank you for the cake. (laughs) I ascended. Okay, I... I tell the... Okay, let's go inside. I have to give this to Constance. Okay. Oh. 
I'm skipping along, shoving biscuits and berries in my face. I um, really don't like the fact okay. that I gave this pike less than 2% chance of being rolled. I rolled it. <laughs> it happened. Fight the fish. Fight the fish. Sick move. I was expecting... Uh, you know what my percentile is? Salmon, catfish, and pike. Salmon and catfish a 49% chance. No bass? Catfish. No bass, unfortunately. Uh, In this particular area, there's not really any bass. Bass are more of a colder sort of climate, so they're more up north. In this world, anyway. Okay. Unfortunately. Oh, man, that was rough. Ugh. I hate my allergies, huh? He's gone, oh. done sneezing. Mm. Oh, fucking so. It's fine, I've been I sneezing too. Turn shortly, and I have to mute some chat. Oh, what? good. She has to mute herself. I... No, I have to mute yeah. some chats on Discord. Oh. It's blowing up okay. my phone. Oh, I, I think I can name one. I think I can name one. <laughs> Probably my server. Just say, hope you wanted your character dead. What? What? No. What the crap? No, that was me. What you mean? That was me. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm also kidding. I swear, you strike me down. I will crawl like, out of hell. What? No. <laughs> what I really want to do is try to steal a carrot from the kitchen. Can I help her? Can I help uh, her with can this? I get, can, um, dual arc. What's your character doing anyway? My character. Uh, well, you know, wash his what face off. Came back to the main area. Lady? Yeah. I'm. I'm not looking for that lady anymore. <laughs> she scared me. Uh. So, hope can I get a sleight of hand check? Oh. Where um, did it? Oh, there it is. Sleight of hand, correct? Yes. Sleight of hand. Oh. Oh no. So you do that slow <laughs> grab and you just kind of take it. <laughs> it puts it behind back. They'll never see it. And you're taking it from the kitchen? Yeah. She really loves those carrots. Come on. There we go. Okay. Well, you're wondering where ba you know, Basil Stag hair, you know, he takes a lot of carrots too. <laughs> um <clears throat> as you attempt to do this, we'll switch over to the battle because I'm ready. Epic now. battle. Oh, yeah. The first battle of the thing. Let me roll initiative for the pike. So if this thing gets overpowered. Oh. It, it's, it's a fish. Okay. It's a fish. <laughs> it's a bite. So it's powerful. Eh, not really. Right. Uh, then your turn. All right. So is it, a, is it like over the water or like out of the water? Uh, right it is currently crusting above the water just barely. Uh, but you can see that it is indeed a pike and it looks irritated. Uh, is there any way I could start getting the boat to attempt to move more closer to shore? Uh, you can try. Uh, um, the pike stronger than us. Yeah, it is quite large. All right. How far away are you? Guys? We're at the lake at the top. Top left of the map. No, I meant how far away from shore are you guys? Are you like in dab middle in the lake? They are. And it's a pond, not a lake. Pond, whatever, you know what I mean. Well, rest in peace. I <laughs> will remember you always. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. I don't have my normal weapons with me, but I do have claws. Smack it. I just go, we're having fish dinner tonight. As I'm going to give it a good stab with my claws. Uh, you're not close enough. Uh, ah. I'll work right. closer for now. This man can extend his claws so far. Well, hang on. Am I within range of the fish? Or I can't see the ma map right now. Ah, you are currently out of range. No. Okay, that's what I was trying to ask. Okay, so... Curse of cell phones. All right. I'm going to say, uh, get put some slack on the line. I'm going to start uh, trying to paddle towards closer to shore. Okay. As you try to do that with your bare paws, because there are no... Because it is a small boat. 
It will attack your paws. Oh man, it, it has matter. reach. Oh. <laughs> I will swim up to him underneath the thing. And since it's currently underwater and probably have it fish, well, I guess it will attempt good. to bite you. Need it. It's an 18 to hit. Uh, let's see here. If I remember, I am wearing chainmail, so that would be a 16 base. I believe my shield does not count right now, so it does hit. What I'm reading your army class is a 13. It's because it doesn't change the fucking thing. I'm wearing chainmail. Why are you having a temper with me? <laughs> because it's irritating because it constantly does the shit. Vince is getting angry with God. Oh, I'm getting angry with, with Pro 20. 20. Mm, it's completely understandable. It constantly bullshits you on the minutest detail sometimes. Okay, uh, so it does one damage to you. Nothing big. Uh, it'll attempt to bite again. Does hit. Another one damage. I'm going to grab that fucker next turn. <laughs> it's now in range. It's there. <laughs> Don't you have a rod? Can you use that as a spear or something to hit it? It's not going to work that well. <laughs> yeah. it's and I, I don't think use, that would work at all. It's better than nothing. It. True. We'll use, uh, well, yeah. we'll use its fish ability to disengage from your hand and swim out of the way. Not 110, 10. God damn. <laughs> so, Balian, okay. I'll go. <clears throat> um... Balian will um, do a performance thing and try to lure it in with his tail. Nice. I'll come in uh, to play later. Thanks. I'm going to... Mm. This is using his tail as a lure. Mm. Well, you I'm still in pull. range. Oh, he's still in range? Yeah. Mm. Well, he's probably under smart floor. fish. Mm. So he's still in range. All right. He's within my range. I'm going to try and get it out, get it with my claws. Hey, you'll have disadvantage because it's kind of underwater, but it is still within range. All right. Kick him. Advantage. Disadvantage. Yes, I was, bar- I was putting on disadvantage. That's what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> I need to make sure I press the right thing. Is all that, too. Right. Oh, no. They're rolling that one. Mm. Uh, I got to roll a D100. Oh. Okay. Everybody who's new, this is what Bloody does, even if you're an NPC or player. Oh, no. What's a 58? It's the book of bad things. All right. Time oh. to get my notebook. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, what? In the arms. <laughs> I'm not dead. <laughs> You're about to dead. Battles, battles, battles. Okay, battles. Order. Let's see here. Fish, 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 fish. Okay, fish. if you guys don't hear from me, just assume that my phone died because reasons. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Because I'm I'm currently bit. at 33% when we started. I was at 100. Oh. Okay. Well, we'll hurry along. We'll try. <clears throat> um, okay, so let's. No, you don't okay. have to carry along. I'm, I'm just letting you guys know if you don't hear from me, I'm probably. So, um, as you strike, tr- attempt to strike at its, cl- uh, at, at it with your claws, you proceed to be pulled down by its teeth into the lake. Congratulations, you're being dragged down by the pike. Oh, oh, oh no, he did. Well, that that's just one arm. Use the other two. Well, two minutes to kill me, so. Yep. <laughs> and ironically, it's the pike's turn. Oh. And unfortunately, it has you in its jaws and it wants to keep you there. So we'll just use one of its actions to try to bash you, a bash against you with its body. That's 12. Does it? Tw- no, a 12 does no, not, does not you. Uh, you manage to basically use your tail as rudder and barely manage to get away from its swift body. Uh, Allium is using its tail as a lure and it, it it's tempted towards lure, but I have to make a intelligence check for it. 
If it's smart, it does not fall for it. Hey, actually, compared comparing the intelligence with his performance, he does fall for it because with the performance check, he rolled a nineteen compared to the Pikes, which is at a fifteen. So he does fall for it. So, um, <clears throat> I get pulled back up. The Pike, and now the Pike has a dilemma: does it want to let go of you, or go for the bigger? Or go for this tiny little tail. It's going to go for both. <laughs> both. Has two heads. No, no, no. It's, it, just it's going to basically. Yeah, it's <laughs> very greedy. Um, uh, Vince, can I get a perception check, please? Perception. All right. Zoom in and perception. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, you do not see this coming. Um. So your hand is released from its from the pike's grip because the pike is no longer there. In its place, the pike's place, you see something has the pike in its jaws. You did not see it coming, but you do see it because it's right smack dab in your face. <laughs> Did you just deep the thing? The what happened? What's wrong with you? <laughs> so, Vince, you keep throwing this Allow thing. Are you okay? <laughs> to describe <laughs> what you oh, see, you see what looks to be a giant, <laughs> a giant cat Wait. with blood red eyes. Slitted pupils, white coat, and stripes. Albino tiger. Uh, Big ass cat cats don't you like just water. see this. What is that doing? Swimming, for, swimming towards the surface. Hey, I thought cats don't like water. What is this thing? It's probably a tiger. Right. Tigers do swim. Yes, but in... <laughs> I knew it. What is it doing? Okay, so there are two creatures that I found out recently that do exist in Red Wall lore. Tigers and bears. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> I can't be about all that same idea. My and Valiant sees its surface and is instantly stunned. <laughs> Since you managed to get to the to the boat, but not without your own passenger. You come into the boat and you find something has latched onto your foot. There's a salmon. <laughs> on your foot. It has That's your entire cool. foot enveloped in its mouth. It's like <laughs> So it's DTing. It's, it's called um uh, what is it called? Dating. I'm. I'm not going to say the actual. No, there's a redneck term to it. But you got. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Yeah. What they call that? What they call? What they call? What they call? As I hold up my foot, I go, got a fish. Alien <laughs> 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 looks at you with a dead man look, and he was like, he just like, I mean, like, like. Like nods towards the this part of the shore, the opposite of where this giant cat just came up. Come on, stopping, stopping, stop! Thank you. Stop, puppy. I roll twenty. I swear to God. Oh, I thought it was the puppy. No. Fluffy. It's roll twenty being an ass. It wasn't for you. <laughs> you know what you should do. Get your revenge. So, um, as we, as we switch over from them, who just caught a decently sized fish, over to Miss Opalis, who is starting to head inside. And I get a perception check. Okay. Big bone is still being a... Okay, I can roll it for you. Right? No, no, I... I... Yeah. Perception. Perception. And this will give you advantage. I will give you advantage because it does require hearing as well. I'm you a have bunny rabbit. ears. I thought we don't get. Oh, wrong species. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, Can you do it not- for me? My thing's being a butt. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. 
completely understandable. Who draws Thanks. making the ears first? Uh, looks like you have an 11. As uh, you start heading back inside, uh, Sunflower, you see Opalis is like, starting to head inside. Can I get a perception check from you, Sunflower? Because, unfortunately, you know, Opalis did not. I was already inside. What about yeah, the children? Yeah, the doors were open. Did, did oh, they okay. see it? Perception. <laughs> Okay. Children they're, too are busy. they're too busy following their favorite person in the world currently. Their mom? No, oh, mom? Oh. I think they're orphans. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of orphans do come here. Yes. Mm, true. Oh, it's sad. No you can kick an orphan. What are they going to do? Tell their parents? Oh my uh, God. Unflower, uh, you and, uh, well, actually, Hope, can I also get a perception check, please? Oh. What happened to me stealing the carrot? You didn't do it. They caught you. Yeah, they caught you. Mm -hmm. Surely. And now uh, you while you, okay, so you and Sunflower. Hope, while uh, Sunflower and Hope. Hope, while you're being reprimanded, you should see this as well. Can, can I and steal brother a carrot for Hope? Who's a lot. Perception check. While you're being reprimanded, you see that creature just bound into the front of Redwall Abbey and go through the double doors as you just see its blood red eyes just looking at you. Have I ever seen that before in Redwall? Um, can I get a history check? You know of this creature. <laughs> know its name. We're gonna name it Jim. <laughs> No, it, um... But this is my first time ever seeing it. Yes, uh, you've heard of... You've heard of her. Her name is Muti Kira. Uh, her mm. name is available to you now. Okay. Then Sunflower's that are... Muti Kira? Uh, in, uh, uh, okay, okay. So, uh, uh, this name was created by moles. Mm. Uh, roughly translated from mole speech, it means killer of thousands. <laughs> yeah, Kira. Mm, that's not good. Multi-killer. But Sunflower stutter out that name once she sees the tiger. Brother Mothuzla <laughs> is clearly <laughs> trembling as well. I think it's not that bad. It saved me. <laughs> <laughs> to you, <laughs> to you, yes, it's not that bad. <laughs> I have, I actually have things against fear, so it's like, it's not that bad. <laughs> oh dear. I feel like fainting. The conditions. Wait a minute, where am I going to go if I'm being reprimanded? Nowhere. You probably have kitchen duty. Pay hey, your taxes. Oh. You're, You're currently being told, and another thing. You wanted more carrots. You should have asked, not try to steal it from us. I haven't been here in years. Here you go. You she, uh, the, the lady who was reprimanding you holds you an entire basket of carrots. Yo! <laughs> she just holds the basket, smiling like, yay! Brother, you got rewarded for stealing, basically. A Next little reprimanding time, means no. Don't steal. Never mind. A hey, young yes, lady from a church. Yes, ma'am. Good. Let me tell you again. She huffs off. I know, it was a he or she. He. The chef is and a he. Crap. <laughs> I didn't say it was the chef. Oh. Never said it was the chef. <laughs> it's like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, about to come back with the soup pan. You, oh, Paulus, you come inside. And you're gonna see everyone scared half to death staring out the door. <laughs> huh? Hey guys, what's up? Did you not see the eyes? Uh, the eye? <clears throat> I take my paw over to my eyes and like wipe what's there. Did I get it? Yep, there you go. Good work, good work. I'm. Uh, yep, good work. <laughs> I'm going to check on my brother. Yep, good Sunflower idea. Sunflower said it when she slowly wobbles out the door. <laughs> Looking both ways before going. Speaking of events, what are you doing? Well, after we get the fish, I'm gonna we're gonna bring it to shore, or you know, we're gonna t attempt to take it in. And if I see the eyes looking at me, oh, I'll wave at it. 
Yeah. <laughs> what a manly move. <laughs> okay, the fish who has But it's so manly. <laughs> the fish at this point has suffocated because it's no longer in the but it's kind of dead weight. Uh, can I get a strength check? Can I use my shield as a paddle? Sure, of course. So a strength check? Not yeah. overly strong, but I am strong somewhat. Uh, you don't need that much. It's a relatively big fish, but it's not that big. Not as big as the pike was. Yeah. Okay, that is, that's a strength save, not a strength check. I know. I pressed the wrong thing. I derped. <laughs> I, I just saw the, you know, you see strength, and I'm like, oh, there, and I'm like, oh, wait, wrong thing. Ooh, ooh, piece of candy. I've done that too many times. That's still not right. There we go. And it hurt. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> Sorry, I was uh, moving the thing. I hurt my toe. <laughs> okay, Vince, you, uh, with uh, Balian's help, you carry the relatively decent side now dead salmon back to Redwall. Um, uh, you see Sunflower is wandering around looking for something outside. I hey, guess she flower. does. <laughs> By the way, after the session, I'll give, uh, you the ability, Rio, to move around his character. Okay. Vince. Vince. Yeah? D D are you Okay. Yeah, other than I, I show her my hand with her, where a bite mark is from the fish. I, other from other from this from a fish, I'm fine. Oh, thank God. The... Also, a big creature saved me. Did it? Oh, mm. Did it? Oh, was By the way, it? So far, you did see that there was a giant pike in its Oh. Yeah. Was it a giant albino? Oh, Tiger with yeah. red blood eyes. Yeah. How can you be so calm about this? <laughs> That's manly. Oh my gosh. You had oh, no of course you don't. It it's a killer of thousands. Oh my gosh. It was here in Red Wall. <laughs> okay, oh, imagine your snake man. but with legs. That's how dangerous it is. Hmm. I think she's still pretty neat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to say it again, but damn, he's so manly. So, um, Pull it down, but, Hiroshima. Yeah. But he's so manly. As, as a disclaimer to everyone out there, um, bears and tigers are, were supposed to be a thing in Redwall. And unfortunately, before he could write it into an actual publishable book, Brian Jacques passed. Um, he did write notes about them, but unfortunately, he never wrote them into an actual book, but I am making them canon, of course. Also, um, I am using a similar name. I changed it a wee bit. Uh, it is from an anime I love. Called Utoari Rumono, and the picture I'm using, uh, as a disclaimer, is a picture of Moody Kaba. And I changed the name just a little bit, and um, there's your disclaimer. It is not my original artwork. Uh, Moody Kira was not an original idea, but I like the character, and so I decided to put her in as an idea. By the way, if I if I see the eyes off in the distance somewhere, I'll wave. Oh no, she's outside the walls. She is outside the walls. Ah, she's gone. Okay. Good Which thing I didn't sunflowers is giving you an earful about how dangerous it is <laughs> and how much of a danger and threat it could be to anyone. By the way, Geo, uh, are you still trying to steal that carrot? Uh, nah. Okay, what are you doing? I'm just sitting around with hope, trying to get to know her a little bit. And mummy. Well, not like that specifically, <laughs> but in the lines of that, yes. <laughs> oh nah, bro, brother, no. no, no. Yeah. I walk up like, hey, <laughs> ho. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> She's already hit on oh one, one herbivore. Let's hit on another. <laughs> I care. It's not yours. 
<laughs> They'll knock the carrots out of him. <laughs> I'd like to be. Him. I would like to be your carrot. <laughs> Come here, big boy. <laughs> God wants to strike me, but in some different ways. Oh, God. oh I knew Zeus would strike me down eventually. Mouth. I should have kept my mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, strike me down. <laughs> Hope I am so sorry. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> no, I'm not talking to Hope like that. It was one dumb moment. <laughs> right. Doesn't mean it'll happen again. Yeah. Yeah, as a disclaimer to all the watchers out there, yeah, my my players will have to be extremely careful of what they say around me. Because not only will I abuse my authority as a dungeon master, I will, if they don't specify, oh, I say this out of character, I will take it as context as their character. And I will force them to roll. Or, it's okay <laughs> for you to kidnap my character, I'll be away that day. <laughs> oh, God, that was... Hilarious. <laughs> oh, hey, God. it's a good thing I didn't close the gate. Because if I did, the tiger would have still been here prowling the area. That is true. Oh my gosh. My character just goes, she saved me. Yeah. Like, yeah, it is very fortunate that Opalis very, very conveniently forgot to close the gates after she got the note. <laughs> I was just so happy that I got a thank you again. I'm just sad I didn't get uh, Bye. By the way, as we continue, uh, as Sunflower is giving Vince an earful, um, and Balian is currently covering his ears from this, and just continuing to walk on. Um, uh, Opalis comes uh, back in. It, it descends into my language. So I am at like, 3%, guys. I am freaking out. Okay. Uh, we will end there. Charging. We will end there for tonight.